You can have all the knowledge, skills, and tools in the world, but if your money blueprint is not set for success, you will never achieve your financial goals. Find out how to reset your money blueprint and create natural and automatic wealth in Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harvecker. The author of this book is a self-made millionaire who teaches people how to master the inner game of wealth. He explains that our financial blueprint, which is shaped by our childhood experiences and beliefs, determines how we think and act about money. He says that rich people and poor people have different mindsets and habits that lead to different results. He also says that we can change our financial destiny by learning how rich people think and copying their strategies. He shares 17 principles that can help us reprogram our money blueprint and increase our income and wealth. The book is divided into two parts. The first part covers the concept of the money blueprint and how to change it, and the second part covers the specific principles of the millionaire mind. The main lesson of the book is that if we want to achieve a higher level of success, we have to let go of our old limiting beliefs and adopt new empowering ones. The writer has experienced a financial disaster. He has faced many ups and downs and was broke many times. But one day, a wealthy friend of his father told him that rich people think differently and poor people think differently. And this way of thinking affects their actions and their results. So now you have to do a simple thing. You have to find out how rich people think and how to copy that. This information helped the author to become what he is today. Ecker is an author, businessman, and best wealth coach. And he learned the fact that rich people think differently than poor people. He started studying rich people and The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind was born. He also learned that it is not about small things, but about the whole package. Here the author wants to say that tools are our knowledge and the toolbox is our mind. That is our way of thinking. He found out that if we combined the inner battle, which is our toolbox, with the outer battle, which is our tools, then we all can win in the battle of money. The author wants to teach in his book how we can win the inner battle of money with the outer one. How to think rich to get rich. The lesson is simple. If you want to move to a higher level of life, then you have to let go of your old ways of thinking and adopt new ones. This book is divided into two parts. The first part covers the concept of the money blueprint and how to change it, and the second part covers the specific principles of the millionaire's mind. Modeling, which is how you observed your family's relationship with money when you were young. How did your parents handle money? Was money abundant or scarce in your household? Did money create joy or conflict? All these factors are important because, as children, we imprint many things in our minds and act accordingly. You are also talking about specific incidents, which is how you react when you encounter money, wealth, and rich people. This is similar to modeling, but you can recall a particular event. Perhaps money triggered a big argument between your parents that resulted in their separation. Specific incidents. How do you react when you encounter money, wealth, and rich people for the first time? This is similar to how modeling shapes our minds, but you can recall a particular event. Perhaps money triggered a big argument between your parents that resulted in their separation. Perhaps your father still curses a wealthy neighbor. Such experiences form your beliefs and you follow those beliefs. These are the three ways that influence our money mindset. Essentially, your money blueprint is your predetermined design that will determine your success. If you have a poor mindset about money, how can you become rich? If you think you always face difficulties for money, then it will always be difficult because that's in your subconscious mind. In the second part of his book, T. Harv Eker says, what you need to change and how to believe that. Here we talk about some wealth files. Let's learn about these wealth files. Wealth file number one, 
Rich people believe that they are in charge of their life. Poor people think that life controls them. To be successful, you have to think that you are the master of your life, especially your financial life. You have to believe that you can make yourself successful. It means you can either empower yourself or weaken yourself, and you can cause your financial troubles or achievements. The author says that this is very important. If you feel like life is dictating your fate and you are powerless, then how will you change? What kind of life will you have? A life of no meaning at all. The author says that unless you think that you will shape your life yourself, Wealth file number two. Rich people aim for wealth and abundance, while poor people settle for survival and comfort. Poor people are afraid of losing money, so they only strive for the minimum to get by and be secure. Rich people, on the other hand, have a goal of becoming even wealthier and enjoying a good life. They don't want just some money, but lots of money. Wealth file number three. Rich people have a strong desire to be rich. Poor people only wish to be rich. The author says that people are unclear about their goals, and that's the main reason they fail to achieve them. The author suggests to ask yourself some questions. What do you want? Who do you want to emulate? How do you want your life to be? Why are you reading this summary? I think you have the answer to the last question. If we are not sure what we want in life, how can we get it? We cannot. The reality is that many people don't want to be rich. Why? Because they have a lot of negative thoughts in their subconscious mind about money that makes them think that being rich is bad. That's how they are conditioned. Wealth file number four. Rich people have a big vision. Poor people have a narrow vision. The author lists four factors that affect your value in the market supply, demand, quality, and quantity. The author says that the more you offer, the more you receive. This is a fair rule. Who makes more money, a skilled lawyer or an unskilled lawyer? A talented soccer player or a mediocre soccer player? A successful actress or an unsuccessful actress? You have the answers. Most people play small because they are afraid of failing and they feel insignificant and unworthy. Wealth file number five. Rich people respect other rich and successful people. Poor people despise rich and successful people. Poor people often view other people's success with bitterness, envy, and jealousy. The author shares a simple rule. If you admire someone, then befriend those who you don't like. From now on, Remember whatever you desire, whether it is a nice car or a lovely partner, then you need to appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more engaging content.